Hello guys, Millie Bushy here, bringing you a new Thoughts on video. Today we're covering the Pillars of Eternity, Dead Fire. So yeah, uh, I really enjoyed the game. The voice acting again was superb. And yes, the game is fully voiced, which is great because I live stream on Twitch. Every day, except for Sundays, or 20 p.m. PST to 10.20 p.m. PST in the evening, and then from 9 to 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. PST in the morning afternoon yeah selfish plug done <laughs> yeah so get one thing out of the way that it's like the only thing i can kind of sort of gripe about is the loading times sometimes it just hangs but it's very rare that it happens it, it is worth mentioning uh then again i am running this game off x on a hard drive so it, it, the fact that it runs smooth most of the time at all is pretty pretty awesome anyway that aside story is amazing it's short and i know i just said it's short and it's amazing i enjoy what there was as a, of a story but what really sold the game for me was the side quest and then i've done the beast of winter dlc i haven't done the others i do own them and the beast the beast of winter dlc is amazing i mean like four or five i think like five or six hours to beat it the, the dragon that you fight like right at the beginning, the messenger, you gotta fight it twice. Um more of a husk than an actual like living breathing dragon. I just think that she doesn't really realize that she's dead. Um yeah, very difficult fight. And you actually fight it again and she's more difficult. A few tries each time. But yeah, I enjoyed I enjoyed the character that was the dragon, the messenger. And I enjoyed that fight. I enjoyed the challenge. And then you go to the actual dungeon and this is obviously in winter, so it's a very wintry theme. So you have ice and snow, and you have you know, all the ice and, you know, the enemies like the blights, and spirits, and then you got even the constructs. Yeah, these mobs are quite interesting. Not really hard, it is different, you know, different uh, sort of paint on the same type of enemy. There's a few new enemies. Like the dragon and the uh, uh, what's it called the conjurer, I believe. But otherwise, it's pretty much you know stand up PoE stuff. That's good though. More PoE is awesome. Okay, so yeah, I want to say I give this game a 4.5 out of 5, and I will be doing an update to this once I completed the rest of the DLC and have seen. The other endings if there are other endings i do think that it once you complete the dlc then you play through the end again you get a different ending with different slides so yeah keep this one short today thank you guys for watching remember to like favorite share and subscribe it helps most importantly stay awesome stay safe until next time really wish you saying peace out